So at the end, I can lift this up and say, John, out and drop it? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm John Grunsfeld, NASA astronaut. And I'm Ed Rezac, EVA engineer for the Hubble Space Telescope Project at Goddard. Hubble is an amazing observatory orbiting the Earth that is allowing us to unravel the mysteries of the universe. But in 1998, Hubble lost its gyroscopes and it stopped doing science. At the time, I was training for the third Hubble servicing mission but because it, all of those gyroscopes had failed, it was a Hubble emergency. And so NASA decided to split our mission in two right. so that we had servicing mission 3A, and sometime later there would be mission 3B. And on 3A, our primary job was to replace all of the gyros on the Hubble Space Telescope. Now, this is what's called a rate sensor unit. This is a mock-up, and inside, are two tiny gyros. So each rate sensor unit held two gyros. So we went up there to replace this, and just like all the other items on Hubble, it has bolts that are a standard size, and the doors open and close on Hubble so that we could open the doors and go inside, take out the old ones, put in the new ones, and it's really easy, right? No, it isn't easy. There's a lot that has to be done, and it's gotta be done in a very tight spot. The astronauts have to enter a part of the aft shroud where the fixed head star trackers are. And these are very, very sensitive uh, instruments that help find a target for the telescope to, to look at. In addition, there's a lot going on to hook up and remove uh, one of these RSUs. We've got cables to disconnect and the three uh, bolts that John pointed out. So. It's a yep. tough spot. This was one of the hardest things I did on the Hubble Space Telescope. And I can tell you it was a very dark and scary place in there. Not because space is dark and scary, but because we were told if we bonked yeah. into the star trackers or we hit the side of the telescope, uh, we could break the Hubble. Oh. And rule number one was don't, don't break, break the, the Hubble. Telescope. Yep. And the astronaut had to enter on your back and be, let's see, Steve held you by the feet, didn't he? Uh, I, I inserted Steve, That's right. who's That's six right. feet two, into the telescope and... Well, those long arms came in handy. Yep. Uh, he's got to reach up over his head and between the fixed head star trackers to access the cable disconnects and to get a socket on these bolt heads. So it was tough, and but we were successful on that mission. We also put in a new fine guidance sensor. We uh, changed out one of the transmitters. Uh, we put in a solid state recorder. Upgraded the computer. Yep, and we also put some new insulation on the outside of the telescope That's to keep true. Hubble cool. Which Hubble is, is cool. Hubble is very cool. Now, one of the things I learned on that mission uh, from you and from doing the, the rate sensor unit swap is that it is really hard task to be inserted up in there. And the neat thing about doing the multiple servicing missions is that we learn from each one. And on the most recent Hubble servicing mission in 2009, we also had to replace the gyros because they wear out. So John was faced with doing the same task again, and uh, he came up with kind of a novel way to uh, make the task easier. I was thinking, you know, it's really hard to get into that spot to replace these. Wouldn't it be great if you had a super long arm that you could reach in and grab the gyro to take it out. So I went to the hardware store and I got one of those pick sticks that allow you to grab cans off a high shelf. And I brought it in to the neutral buoyancy laboratory one day and we put that pick stick into the water to see if we could reach the gyro and we could. Now that was a 20 buck pick stick but because of that, it inspired a new tool. Uh, it did, and it, that was, I call those pet rock moments. Because you see something and then you go, well, why didn't I think of that? But it was a beautiful idea. So we took the concept and we built the RSU changeout tool. We used it, it came in handy for the last servicing mission in 2009. You wanna demonstrate? Absolutely. Okay, so this is the handrail that I had to grab that was so hard, but now, 
Lock it on. Could reach into the telescope and grab it. Pretty sweet. So that's how we develop new tools sometimes. It's just a simple idea and a hard task. Make it easier. It works. Thanks, Ed. Thanks, John. Hello, I'm John Grunsfeld, NASA astronaut. I'm Frank Seppelina, and I'll never retire. <laughs> Should we do that one over? <laughs> yep. Start over. Hello, I'm Edwin Hubble, a deceased <laughs> astronomer. Got that out of your system now? I did. I'm good. How's that? You how's, started. How's that feel? <laughs>